Hello, my name is Chile. Welcome. Uh, this week I decided to try my hand at something completely new. It's a completely new genre in videos. This is obviously the genre of vlog. And I've never created uh, any vlogs yet. And I honestly, I'm honestly not sure if this is gonna work out. Because, you know, I don't even have a tripod uh, here at home. But we'll see um, if this works out or not. I'm eager to try and later learn from my mistakes. And for now, I want to, sh to share my little agenda uh, for this week, agenda for this week uh, with you. So it's Monday morning now, and I'm s very soon leaving for school. And today is gonna be a day uh, of romanticizing studying, because I have an additional maths class, and I have my school and everything. Uh, tomorrow I'm going uh, to seek a present uh, for one of my best friends whose uh, birthday uh, is this week and for Wednesday I also have some special plans and on Friday I'm going to be hanging out uh, with uh, another friend of mine. Uh, for now this is uh, it. I will keep you updated and we'll see what I, I will be able to film and share with you in this video. Now, yeah, have to go to school. Hello again, it's uh, later on Monday, it's 6 p.m. right now, and I've just finished my maths class. It was <laughs> so challenging that I even struggled to describe it, but it was also enjoyable, because I, I like uh, uh, to wreck my brain, so... Or whilst trying to solve a challenging math pr problem. And uh, as for now, uh, I have some homework to do. I have a Latin translation for tomorrow, and uh, also I believe some geometry, but about that I'm not sure, to be honest. And I also wanted to create uh, some new uh, vocabulary cards um, to enhance my English. Uh, those will be the last ones I'm creating uh, using the Test Your Vocabulary, Test Your Vocabulary uh, 5 book. So uh, if I manage to do it today, uh, I will be able to celebrate at last finishing this book. And I also want to note that I really, really hoped that I will film something outside uh, as I will be uh, walking home from school, but I ended up completely forgetting about this intention, and so I will have to do it tomorrow. So see you tomorrow, if I don't film anything later this evening. I'm not sure about that yet. Hello, it's Tuesday afternoon right now and uh, I've been shopping for some presents for my friends so uh, I bought this uh, wonderful card for my bestie his uh, birthday is on Saturday and also whilst I was searching a uh, card for her uh, I noticed that uh, there were new books uh, in the shop and there was a Christmas camera by Charles Dickens which uh, has been on my radar for ages and so of course I had to snap it uh, as soon as I saw it yeah, I had to, yeah, as soon as I saw it, the grammar is probably correct um, of course I'm not going to read it uh, right now for it's September and Christmas is uh, a few months away but uh, it will be a nice addition to my uh, book case to what is in my bookcase right now and I'm definitely gonna read it in December and then review it and that's however not everything because uh, I can't skip my friends it's simply just one card so I'm going to search for something uh, else see you later welcome back I'm in the shopping center now and I think I managed to buy almost everything uh, I wanted to I have this or a friend of mine 
and uh, I have finally made up my mind what to give to my bestie for her birthday. So I think uh, this shopping raid was indeed a successful one. And uh, before I uh, head home, I also wanted to, to note to give a small note about uh, the weather. We said that all I'm wearing is a top and a, a shirt, and somehow I'm not even cold. So this autumn is extremely mellow and warm, which is amazing. But to be honest, uh, I'm right now on the verge uh, of desperately wanting uh, to wear a coat and uh, something like a sweater uh, to feel the dark academia vibe more fully. But for now I have to go, so bye and see you later. Hello, it's a Thursday afternoon right now and um, I am walking home from school. Uh, I had seven classes today and after that I just came to uh, buy some chocolates uh, for my best friend. Uh, she loves chocolate and it's her birthday very soon and I finally decided that uh, I will give her uh, a big pack of uh, chocolates <laughs> because uh, that's what she wanted. And the weather is very nice today. It finally feels like autumn and you may see the leaves uh, turning uh, into this coppery red uh, which I absolutely love and it's also sunny so I'm just beaming with happiness and uh, uh, I will also feel something at home when I finally get there and uh, buckle down to some studies. So I'll see you! Hello, it's uh, the evening of Thursday now. It's currently 8 p.m. and I've already done quite a bit. I've already learned some combinatorics or combinatorics. I still have no idea how to pronounce it properly. See, like there are some solutions in here. Actually, this uh, math course is not as easy as I expected to be. I really suppose that it will be. Um, I really suppose that it would be as easy as ABC, but obviously it is not. I still have to apply my, my brains to it, and uh, therefore it is like not really on target uh, right now. I still have some hours uh, before I um, go to bed, and in those hour, in these hours, I'm planning to first do some work, like literally earn some money. Um, and also do my English homework for school and after that if I'm lucky I will get back uh, to my book I mean to the book I'm currently reading I actually have a few current reads uh, The Turn of the Screw for my school English literature classes um, The Ye uh, Yellow Face by R.F. Kwan for the book club and also just for pleasure I am rereading Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen is the third time I'm reading it. I first read it like at the age of 10 probably, then I reread it uh, three years ago, and now I'm uh, uh, rereading it again just uh, because I love this story. I absolutely adore Elizabeth, and uh, Darcy's a nice chap too. So I just picked it up uh, from the bookshelf and said that I was in the mood for it. But obviously it's not uh, very, very easy going. Do you say easy going about books? Maybe? <laughs> okay, uh, it is not as easy to read uh, as some other things are. Um, just because of the writing style. And I have only read uh, around 70 pages so far. Well, out of 300 plus or maybe even 400 plus. Uh, so this will be definitely a very, very uh, long read for, for me. Uh, I actually understood right now uh, that it would have been better if I had filmed something of me, like solving the tasks or uh, watching the lectures or doing homework, but without a tripod I have literally no idea how to do it. Still, I will try to uh, somehow uh, put my phone uh, to record 
uh, my doing this like homework today and see if it works out or not. it's Friday evening right now 5 p.m. and I have gone for a little walk uh, I'm currently walking home already uh, I spent like three hours outside and it's so so beautiful I love uh, this autumn I love the colors and uh, the vibrancy of everything and also this mild weather hello it's me again it's Friday evening 6 p.m. And this is why the lighting is so awful, because it's already getting dark outside. And I'm here to share with you my little October TBR. Or rather, not even the TBR, but just uh, the list of books I want to focus on in October. And some things to prioritize. Because, uh, the fact uh, that I have something in this list uh, does not at all mean that I will necessarily get down to it. But at least uh, it, give me, it gives me some notion of what to pick up. So let's start. Well, first of all, welcome to my Notion. This is the TPR page in my reading list. And uh, the top list is my October focus. I have uh, like three, three and three more, um, nine books in here. Uh, so the first one uh, is... Um, a book uh, written in Russian, which has no translation. It is um, a mystery detective uh, series uh, that um, I should at last finish because I started uh, reading it last year in September. Uh, like The first book I read last year in September and I haven't yet read the fourth one. And I really feel like I should do it as soon as possible. Then I have two psychology books, The Four Habits of Joyful People, which is pretty short, and also one, again, written in Russian, which is about, like, women and women's psychology, something like that. I was really advised to read uh, this one, but I didn't manage to pick it up in September. Uh, then I also have uh, New Moon, obviously the sequel to The Twilight, and... Um, after a year after I read uh, the Twilight, Twilight, I finally uh, feel like picking up uh, this second book and just having some fun with it. And then Lessons in Chemistry, this one is pretty famous, and I will be reading it uh, with a book club. And then uh, Dark Dawn by J. Christoph, uh, the final part of uh, the Nevernight Chronicles uh, trilogy, which I'm very eager to finish. Because I'm curious in what way everything uh, will conclude. And I just want to give uh, this series uh, a feel of completeness of having finally finished it. Then Legends and Lattes, uh, which is uh, a quintessential cozy fantasy uh, that has been recommended here and there on uh, Booktube. The Subtle Knife by uh, Philip Pullman, uh, which I'm probably gonna read in translation, but still gonna read, um, or even reread, because I read this one too, as well as Northern Lights, uh, when I was a very young child. And finally, if I manage, I will get to Crave by uh, Tracy Wolf, uh, just to have some fun with it, you know, for the same purpose as um, I read the Twilight series. And there also are uh, three books on that, like, that have transited from, that have moved from September to October. Those are my three current reads. Uh, Yellow Face, uh, which I actually have all but finished, and I'm going to finish it in the first days uh, of October. The Turn of the Screw, this is uh, the book we're reading at school in our literature classes. 
so it's not a fast read, obviously. And also Pride and Prejudice, uh, which is just pretty hefty. And despite the fact that I absolutely love Jane Austen's writing style, uh, it is not um, one of those books that you uh, read in one sitting. And uh, having said that, I think that's all about my TBR. And I will now uh, switch cameras again and uh, just share some of my reflections about the process of uh, filming this video. So I'm back uh, with uh, the main camera and uh, with some reflections on the process of filming this video, as well as just on my life in general. Uh, there are three of those uh, reflections. Uh, the first um, is that I absolutely need a tripod. Uh, in, as I was trying to film something like a study with me or just anything, but for uh, those vlogs as this part uh, of the video, I found it unbearably difficult to put my phone uh, somewhere so that it showed what it ought to show in the video and not like the ceiling of my room and so that I didn't drop it. So, well, uh, the takeout is that I will be in, a mar in the market for a tripod very, very soon. Uh, then my second uh, reflection is that I am awful at uh, speaking in the public places. I get really, really nervous and uh, can't get out a word. And uh, if I do get uh, some words out, uh, what I say is not uh, really beautiful and coherent. I mean, um, the, the parts of the video, like uh, this part, are not so, like the best examples of oratory in the world. Indeed, they're not. Uh, but what I try to film in public places is even worse. <laughs> I, I will have to do something with it and uh, we'll see if I am able to do it or not. And uh, the last reflection is on like life in general. I found out that with, without proper time blocking and uh, prior planning and to-do lists uh, where the tasks are numbered uh, in the order uh, I have to do them, I end up doing pretty nothing, like uh, wasting away my time and selecting off complete evenings just to read something, uh, go surfing on the net, or chatting with my friends or watching YouTube. I mean, uh, none of those activities uh, is bad. No, like everyone needs some leisure time and everything, but like not whole evenings. Uh, there is still homework to be done and um, studies and the time should be uh, duly allocated uh, to those activities too and not just uh, to fun. That's probably it. Um, yeah, apart from the Apart from me soon being in the market for um, proper uh, tripod, I think I will also be in the market for some proper lighting. Because, you know, like <laughs> what is going on right now is bad. <laughs> I see it, but I have no other option. Uh, and that brings me to the end of my video. I hope uh, that you have enjoyed it, despite the fact that it was uh, slightly cringy. And if you want to see me again talking about life, books, and studies, please subscribe to my channel, Julia Caesar. And before I say bye, uh, I have to note that on the day this video uh, will be published, which will be Saturday, uh, the 30th of uh, September, uh, one of my best friends, my bestie Asia, will be celebrating her uh, 17th birthday. So, happy birthday to Asia, and see you!